Bubby, a convicted felon, stands next to floor mopping equipment, holding a pair of assault style rifles, abiding by the drug gang's motto, We Stay Dangerous, according to FBI agents who say the guns were to be used in a retaliatory attack. This man, among nine in custody tonight following a six year federal investigation, charges now revealing the ruthless threats faced by Chicagoans and the deep investigative efforts underway by law enforcement. Undercover videos and pictures of people charged tonight with doing sizable drug deals, cocaine, crack, heroin, and much of it containing frequently deadly fentanyl. Since 2017, federal agents snapping pictures from on high as guns allegedly changed hands from car trunks. Agents and informants following suspects as they allegedly did gun and drug deals. Videos and telephone intercepts quoted in numerous records obtained tonight by the I-Team. Guns including automatic weapons found in alleged gang work cars this month, according to the FBI, Chicago and state police, and some local departments that moved quickly to make arrests in the six-year-old ongoing investigation, apparently because the Southside-based Rack City gang had learned that authorities might be onto them. This group, among those charged, with nicknames including Itch, Twig Z, and Baby Stone. They range in age from 33 to 67. A ninth man charged is listed as living in West Suburban Hinsdale. Photos of guns confiscated during the operation are shown in federal criminal complaints against the men, from pistols to long guns and some with extended magazines capable of firing dozens of rounds. Also, pictures of the gang's bread and butter, bags and bricks of drugs weighed out after being seized by agents. Finally, back to this picture where we started, the 33-year-old felon holding two assault-style rifles, according to the FBI. At the bottom of the photo, the letters TSG allegedly refer to the tank sum gang gang, a tribute to a now dead gang member known as Lil Tank, who was said to be killed by Chicago police officers. Two summers ago, a pair of the currently accused drug traffickers happened to be arrested after a Chicago police traffic stop found drugs, but they were later released with no charges to keep the larger FBI investigation covert. Drug traffickers have started using FaceTime to communicate privately, and tonight federal agents in this case admitting they were unable to intercept FaceTime conversations between some suspects. Court date still being set in this. Still, the twists and turns of a six-year investigation, wow. If it had gone sideways, it would have been very dangerous for people. Mm -hmm. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.